Yeah, you know, you had mentioned the book about UPS's um, Orion. Am I pronouncing that right? Or Orion, yes. their, their on-road integrated optimization and navigation system. Tell us about, I mean, that obviously, you know, leverages predictive analysis and, you know, GPS technology. Um, tell us how UPS uses that. So, you know, UPS uses Orion to solve the classic traveling salesman problem. And that is just if you have, you know, X number of destinations, what's the shortest route for a traveling salesman to travel between those destinations? The problem with this is that the 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 rate of growth of the number of possibilities of routes between those cities grows so quickly that if you get over, you know, like a dozen destinations, the problem quickly becomes unsolvable by any computer on any time scale. And so they spent $300 million initially to try to figure out a system that could take into account, you know, all these different variables, including traffic, and plot out the most efficient route for their UPS drivers while taking it into account, uh, you know, factors like, yes, they do still want to not take left turns because those are dangerous and slow them down. Right. Um right. So and that's you true. know, that, that, I always thought that was a myth that UPS drivers don't take left turns. But that's actually true. It is a myth, but they try to avoid it, right? Okay. And so, you know, after spending all of these hundreds of millions of dollars creating this huge system to optimize every single UPS driver's route every single morning, given all the packages that they have, uh, and and when they need to get there, because some need to get there earlier than others, you know, what they found was they only actually demand from their drivers compliance with the directives of that system 80% of the time. And that's because you cannot replace the on the ground knowledge of the driver in the moment, you know, and, and their own judgment. It turns out humans for reasons we don't understand, psychologists don't mm -hmm. understand are weirdly good at solving the traveling salesman problem. If you give somebody a scattering of dots and you say, what's the shortest route? We have some kind of thing in our visual cortex or deeper, which allows us to solve that problem with reasonable, uh, speed, but, we don't know how, but that's so it's an example of the fusion of human and AI at all times. 